hi guys welcome back to another make it monday so i'm excited to share guys this is how i demonstrate the use of last week's herbal tea rinse so last week the video i put out was introducing what the herbal tea rinse is and how to make it so on today's video i'm going to be demonstrating both on my daughter's hair and my youngest son on how to actually utilize the herbal tea rinse so let's jump right into this video so I always saturate the hair and I begin at the root of the hair and I go all the way down to the strands, the very end of the hair. And the reason I do that is because guys, as you know, healthy hair starts from the roots. So you do want to apply this tea rinse directly to the roots. So I'm just going through my daughter's hair now. I always apply the herbal tea rinse after I've shampooed. I don't use conditioner in her hair, so it's basically shampoo and then i apply the tea rinse there's two different thoughts on this you can either leave the tea rinse in let it sit and then you rinse it out with cool water or you apply the tea rinse which i do and you actually do not rinse it out you just kind of press it out which i'll show you a little later in the video because i have both a demonstration on my daughter and my son's hair um, I'm just going to now jump into the actual style portion of this video however I do want to let you guys know that in Ayurveda the hair is considered just as a byproduct an important byproduct of the bone tissue likewise as the nails and our teeth and so with that said they're all made up of tissues that are interconnected so our main focus for the hair is that it is linked to the nervous system and our gut health. So if the health of any of those tissues are deteriorating or not at their best, then our hair is likely to be affected. So our hair is actually one of our most prominent you know, features, if you will, of our physical appearances. And so the theory and practice behind the Ayurvedic tea rinse is that in order to increase your hair health which includes strength shine luster and overall growth you want to start by actually treating it internally and holistically so what i would suggest is one i know i've talked about actually applying the tea rinse to your hair but i would also suggest also consuming hibiscus tea in specific because this does have detoxifying effects and it will actually nourish the cells from your inside out and it gives your hair a natural shine it makes it thick and it also makes it lux lustrous <laughs> and healthy so nourishing your hair through be it a good a uh, balanced diet means like, you know, eating fresh whole foods. Um, I always look at it like this. You want to try and consume more foods that are made from a plant instead of foods that are made in a plant. What do I mean by that? Basically, you want to minimize as much processed foods as possible, as well as sugars. You also want to eat a lot of fresh fruits on a daily basis, as well as fresh veggies um, in healthy amounts, of course, right? And I mean, honestly, there's no, I don't want to say that there's no right or wrong way to eat fresh fruits and veggies, but obviously the more the better. Um, but be mindful that too much could also be, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, uh, which is a different video I can get into on another time. But if you eat too much of a good thing, that could also combat your weight gain. So I digress. Getting back to uh, other things that will help to... Um, basically help promote healthy hair growth you want to have some sufficient amounts of fats and protein along with sufficient amounts of fiber I would suggest I drink beetroots on a daily basis so beetroots carrots spinach um, I have either the juice of those or I do them in a smoothie um, style so either or but basically I'm saying all of that guys to say that yes it's great to use the herbal uh, tea rinses on top of the hair, but it's also great to consume some of these items, especially with the hibiscus, because it is a great source of vitamin C. And what that does is it helps to boost the collagen uh, production in your body. So if you're like me, who is anemic, um, that means like I suffer from low iron with an increase of vitamin C, it actually helps to absorb iron. OK, and that actually keeps your hair healthy and strong. Um, it also contains antioxidants to help 
nurture the scalp as well as prevent dandruff so guys i'm now showing you basically uh the rope twist method which is i'm not a pro at it uh by any by any means i've actually recently learned this technique um actually maybe a couple months now but i've been really practicing so what i like to do i find that the style lasts longer is that after i wash um our hair and i do this to my hair as well as my children's hair i like to actually uh go in and i um install rope twist and so if you guys want a more detailed video on that let me know but um i'm you know i'm learning but i think that i've kind of like really managed to do a decent job at learning this technique and i'm just demonstrating it on my daughter's hair i'm retwisting the roots and then i am going in a, a counter clockwise direction to install the rope twist so what I found is that if you actually do it in the opposite direction and you do clockwise, what happens is you just have regular two strand twists that if you don't do it tight enough, they will actually unravel. So that's my little tip there. But um, I want to demonstrate, guys, I know you saw earlier I applied after I washed her hair and I left the um, hibiscus tea in. I actually went in and uh, even though it showed a... Uh, red bottle it looked like um, a rose water bottle it was a rose water bottle however I actually don't have rose water in there I actually have aloe vera juice which I have found has been very very um, uh, hydrating for our for our hair and our scalp so I just start with that before I install any of these styles then I go in with um, actually uh, trapping the moisture in and so I go in with an avocado oil. So you want to obviously use an oil that will help to penetrate, penetrate the oil shaft. And so avocado oil along with olive oil is really great for that. So I'm just showing you before what her hair looked like. And I know the lighting isn't the best, but this is how it looked after. So I definitely recommend implementing the herbal tea rinse because I think it really does add luster and shine to your hair. And now this is the littlest one. He is, um, I'm just doing a very close up to show you. This is actually before washing his hair. So I had done a hot oil treatment on his hair. Um, his hair, it's the loosest uh, pattern of all of our hair. However, he does have a bit of eczema on his scalp. And so I do go in every uh, two to three weeks with a hot oil treatment and I'm just showing you how the back of his hair looks so I let him sit with that for about 30 minutes to an hour so now I'm gonna go in with the hibiscus um, at first I thought I would spray it but to be honest for the sake of the video it's better that I just kind of pour it so again you want to start at the roots of the hair or you want to start with your roots and then you just want to work the herbal rinse down the length of the hair and of course, get in the ends, okay? Very, very important, guys, because again, this, the ingredients in here are really great for promoting healthy scalp and overall, obviously, that will promote healthy hair growth. So I always, always start at the roots and then I concentrate it there and then work it all the way down to the ends of his hair. And as I mentioned, I don't rinse this out. So I literally, after I've saturated his hair, I just gently squeeze until all of the water or all of the tea, I guess uh, you can say, is uh, out of his hair. And it's not going to be obviously completely dry unless you towel dry it. But just keep in mind, because it has the hibiscus, it will stain your towel. So um, here we are. We're now ready to basically start the style on his hair and i'm just really doing a straight uh retwist because he has a lot of new growth but you can definitely i'm showing you guys just the actual look of his hair after we've used the tea rinse so you can see that it already has a lot of shine um keep in mind too that hibiscus will give your hair a bit of a tint so you'll notice that there's a bit of like a brown reddish tint However, look at how hydrated his hair is, which is exactly why I like this tea rinse. So guys, this is the end result. Um, and again, I use the same oil, the avocado oil, just to seal the moisture into his hair. 
and this is the end result so guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you've ever tried a herbal tea rinse let me know if you would like a more detailed version of the actual uh, rope twist that i did on my daughter uh, on her hair earlier in the video and as always i really appreciate all of you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've learned something today and we will see you in the next make it monday video take care guys and be safe.